Hey Sagittarius, Everlong Mystic here. Today we're going to look at Seen, Heard, and Spoken. <clears throat> and there is a chance at a bonus reading for you, Sagittarius. Alright, if you <clears throat> are familiar, if you've been here a while, you've, you're familiar with what this means. And if you are not, then stick around till the end and you will find out. Alright, so, scene. Oh, Sagittarius. So, we have the High Priestess here and... This is telling me that you are seen as a very intuitive person. So you're seen as a very, very intuitive person, and this is similar to Aquarius, I believe, where it's it's kind of like you're kind of seen as the, like this behind the scenes kind of person behind like you're behind the magician. It's almost like I don't know, like you like you have some I don't know, like maybe you're not confident. Maybe you're not confident enough to be the magician, or you use your, you're seen as using your intuitive abilities to kind of set the environment for the magic to happen. Again, you're behind, you're behind the Three of Wands here. Something about you in the background. Are you afraid? I don't know, are you, a, it's like you, I don't know, it's like this wallflower kind of, or, you know, kind of feeling where, you know, like when you're in junior high and you're at your first dance and you just stick by the wall and you don't go out and dance. Even though people actually can see the, the magic that you have within you. Yeah, they can see it. It's like the Ace of Swords here. It's like they, they see the truth about you, but you don't. And so what is unseen course is that you are the magician what is unseen is that you hold you do hold the magic you hold magic but you keep it undercover All right, let's look at what is heard. Ten of Swords. This is the pain of others. You hear the pain of others, Sagittarius. Weird, it's like you hear the pain of others and you want to help, but you don't know how. It's weird, it's almost like you're waiting for the solution to come out of nowhere. Like you're waiting for the solution to come out of nowhere, but you're you're holding you're holding the cup. Wow, and you're hiding your Sagittarius, it's like you you know you hear you hear the, the pain of others, 
you're you're expecting the solution to come out of nowhere and you're hiding the strength and wisdom within you it's like you you're able to help but all you're doing you're just hearing that the help is needed somehow and what you're not hearing is that it's possible but it's a slow process like just because it's a slow process doesn't mean it's not doable you know and this this temperance card here it's just like it's it's to me it feels like remaining you know remaining calm in the face of like not in the face of obstacles but knowing that there's obstacles this all really feels like like confidence sagittarius all right let's look at spoken so what do you say seven of pentacles so Sagittarius, you say, you say you're working on it. You say you're working on it. <laughs> and you have seven of pentacles again. So you say you're working on it? <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> That's funny. You know what? You say you're working on it, but this is actually, I don't know, is this behind the Seven of Pentacles? Because he's actually just sitting there. Perhaps you're tired. Perhaps you're tired of working on it. Perhaps you're tired of doing the work. It's like, I don't know. It's like you want people to know that you're, you know, that you're working on it. Perhaps your self-confidence, right? Perhaps you're working on your magic, working on your self-confidence, working on your healing. It's like he's, you know, he's tired because, you know, you've got this turtle here, which is a slower, slower energy. It's almost like you're sitting here on this rock imagining the fruit because this tree doesn't even have leaves on it. It's weird. It's like, I don't know, it feels like skipping a step or something. Because you've got to have the, you know, like the, the, the lush of the leaves. You have to have the nutrients going through the branches in order for the fruit. You're just imagining the fruit, but not the actual process. And maybe that's why you're tired, because you're not envisioning the entire process. Wow, okay, so there is some kind of, there, it's weird, it's like, with this dolphin here, it's like there is some kind of, like, missing component of happiness. It's like what, like, you know, like what is spoken is all about the, it's just all about the doing and the work of it. But there's, there's this, there's this emotional component that's missing. It's almost here with this seven of pentacles, but it's not, it's, it's almost like it's not the, it's not the right emotion to tap into. It, this, this one right here is the right one. So what is unspoken? Oh. Okay, so the reason behind, so what you're not really talking about, 
Sagittarius is the reason behind this focus on the fruit, even though the tree is dead. It's like there's there's some kind of it's there was some kind of ending. And it's like you you have not finished the grieving process. And until you and this isn't something that you really talk about, but you kind of know inside that until you finish that grieving process, you're not going to see these fruits. And the grieving process can be can be a very long process. So you're not only just hearing the pain of others, you're hearing the pain of yourself as well, but you don't talk about it. And this is this is kind of cool here. The the other side of the the King of Cups here is that you you know that there is a it's like there's a whatever ending this was that caused you so much grief, you know that there's going to be an ending to the grief. And you're sitting here in your dark night and you're you're getting through it. You know what I mean? Because we had didn't we have something? Yeah. Because here it's like he's holding this cup, right? Just like you're holding the cup here. It's like you you are you're you're kind of maintaining until you get through this dark night. But it's a personal thing, so you don't really talk about it. All right, Sagittarius. This is your message. We're going to roll and see if you get a bonus message or an extra oracle card. Oh, over. All right, Sagittarius. This is your message. I thank you for embracing your inner mystic, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.